So what do you make of that then, frustrating afternoon? It has been a frustrating afternoon. Uh, from the decision that the ref made about the penalty, I mean, we're sat behind the goal, it was not a penalty yeah. at all. Uh, and from that decision, mm. the ref just took it downhill, everything went against us. And it was so frustrating to watch it, knowing the quality of players we've got mm -hmm. there, and how they play today, I'll applaud them, yeah. and which we did do, both of us off the pitch, mm -hmm. congratulated them for the way they played. Doncaster played a complete and utter dirty game. Well, it was 4-1 to the ref, I think, wasn't it? I think decisions were made that I, I've never seen it as bad as that, really. I thought the lads played well, they, they worked hard, um, but we couldn't compete against an official that didn't know what he was, he didn't know what he was doing, yeah. you know? And um, penalty was a bit dodgy. Not the best of referees, are they? Mm. It was awful. He ruined the game. Yeah. Absolutely ruined it straight from the start. Yeah, I mean, just, just blowing up everything, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Well, he was against us. And Once then... we'd scored, I thought, I thought we had control of the game. Yeah. Um, we look, we look quite attractive going forward, mm. but we can't seem to. You, know, you can't beat, you can't beat 12 players. <laughs> and, uh, no control. The referee had got no control of that game whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And once he'd made the decision, oh yeah, he got to stand by it. Yeah. But that was, no that, that was no good. That was no. He's getting on the bus to go back to the There you are. He's <laughs> It, it lost control. It lost everything. And then for frustration, obviously, boiled over onto the pitch for Walsall. You know, Ferrier and Leahy be able to save for instance. It's not what you want to see, is it? It's not what you want to see now. But they're young lads. Mm. The way they was tattled as well. It was 50-50 tattles, and they was getting frustrated. But they're young lads. They're gonna. We as supporters were getting yeah, frustrated. Yeah. And then the players just lost their heads, I think, after mm. fighting between themselves, and that ain't good enough. Just frustration, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I just hope this ain't the bubble burst now. I could feel it for Keats, so you know, I think you got booked as well, didn't yes, you? Yeah. You know, and you just think, well, what more can we do? Mm. Just Useless say referee. things, things. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Um, but it's one game. Let me mm. clap them off the pitch, and yeah. we move on to next next match, and let's, yeah, I mean, let's see what we can do. Well, the disappointing thing is that's the last three home games now, two disgrace, defeats in a draw. Disgrace. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's. Uh, it's worrying then when it gets like that. Yeah. Uh, what do you think they could do this season? Well, I thought they might finish about middle, and I still think they will. Just work, you know, to talk to the players, and calm things down. You know, let it just let it just put it in the cupboard and just just let it go. Because we won't we won't have that guy again, hopefully refereeing for us. So. Um, and what do you think they can really simply do this season? Uh, top half, definitely. Top six is a bit of a dream. But I think I think maybe purchase it in January if we can get a couple people in. Can't spoil what, what has been an excellent start to the season, hasn't it? It has. It has. I mean, we haven't we haven't conceded a game. Mm. One drawn mm. and to lose the way we have done today, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think realistically they can do this season, Walsall? If we keep playing like we're playing, I can see us. Top four, promotion.